Hello there, this is Robin Norgren, and I'm your host for Montessori Creativity and the Meaning of Life. I'd like to talk to you today about how you think God sees you. I was listening to um, a message a couple of weeks ago. Um, the pastor's name is Pastor Kirby with Wow Life Church. And he said these words, God's in a good mood. Now, I wonder if you think God's in a good mood. I wonder if you're offended by the idea of God being in a good mood. You're looking at the world around you and you're basing God on what you see in the circumstances and the situations, the dilemmas, the heartbreak. And then if you see God that way, then how are you viewing yourself through God's eyes? Let's listen to a passage from the New Living Translation by uh, Eugene Peterson. It's from the Song of Psalms 4, 9 through 15. You've captured my heart, dear friend. You looked at me and I fell in love. One look my way and I was hopelessly in love. How beautiful your love, dear, dear friend. Far more pleasing than a fine, rare wine. Your fragrance more exotic than select spices. The kisses of your lips are honey, my love. Every syllable you speak, a delicacy to savor. Your clothes smell like the wild outdoors. The ozone scent of high mountains. Dear lover and friend, you're a secret garden, a private and pure fountain. Body and soul, you are paradise. A whole orchard of succulent fruits, ripe apricots and peaches, oranges and pears, nut trees and cinnamon, and all scented woods, mint and lavender, and all herbs aromatic, a garden fountain sparkling and splashing, fed by spring waters from the Lebanon mountains. Now I'd like you to go back, rewind this, and listen to this poem again. And consider this as God's love poem to you. How God treasures you. How he can't take his eyes off you. What image do you prefer to be in God's sight? A dear friend? One who looks God's way? As pleasing as fine, rare wine? As fragrant as an exotic spice? One with kisses like honey? One who speaks each syllable with sensitivity to God? One whose clothes smell like the wild outdoors? A lover and friend? A private and pure fountain? A sparkling, splash, splashing fountain? Pray what you most need to pray. Perhaps that 
you would grasp how loved and treasured you are by God. Perhaps you would define your relationship in God with God in the way of this passage rather than seeing yourself as a slave, a sinner, hopeless, forgotten. Will you begin to grasp even more deeply what it means not only to treasure God, but that God treasures you.